Imagine you are sitting on a high-speed train, traveling at 350 kilometers per hour, with the scenery outside whizzing by like a movie. That's already impressive, right? But this is far from the speed limit. China's first high-speed maglev train can reach up to 430 kilometers per hour, and maglev trains in vacuum tubes can even break the 1,000 kilometers per hour barrier. This isn't science fiction, it's happening right now. Today, we'll unveil how this disruptive technology is crossing over from high-speed rail to cars, from artificial hearts to satellites, and even enabling ordinary vehicles to levitate. Yes, you heard that right. BYD has already used electromagnetic force to make car bodies float in mass-produced vehicles, greatly reducing road bumps. So, what exactly is maglev technology? How does it achieve all this? And what kind of future will it lead us to? Let's uncover this world-changing Chinese technology together. What's the biggest enemy of traditional trains? The answer is friction. If friction is too high, resistance and wear increase. If friction is too low, wheels slip. This contradiction means traditional trains usually can't exceed 500 km per hour. Engineers wondered, what if we could eliminate friction entirely and lift the train off the ground? The core principle of maglev technology is actually quite simple. Like magnetic poles repel, unlike poles attract. But using permanent magnets directly leads to instability, as they naturally flip to the attractive mode. So engineers came up with a smarter approach. Take the Shanghai Maglev as an example, the world's first commercial high-speed Maglev line. Under the train, there's a C-shaped suspension frame that fits ingeniously with the T-shaped track. By installing electromagnets on the suspension frame and using the attraction to the ferromagnetic track, the train body is stably levitated, and this structure effectively prevents derail. But ordinary magnets can't adjust their force, so how do you handle changes in load? That's where electromagnets come in. By controlling the coil current, the magnetic force can be precisely adjusted, ensuring the train and track always maintain a 10 mm levitation gap. Meanwhile, two sets of coils on the sides of the suspension frame can adjust current to pull the train back to the center if it drifts, achieving precise directional control. Levitation is just the first step. The train also needs a propulsion system. Maglev trains get their power from coil systems beneath the track. When the track coils are energized, they create a moving magnetic field. From the side, the south pole on the train is attracted by the north pole ahead on the track and repelled by the south pole behind, generating forward thrust. By constantly changing the direction of current in the track coils, the moving magnetic field keeps pushing the train forward. The faster the magnetic field changes, the faster the train goes but powering the entire track continuously would consume enormous energy. So engineers designed an intelligent power supply system that only energizes the section the train is passing through, greatly improving energy efficiency. Besides using moving magnetic fields on the track to drive the train, you can also generate a moving magnetic field on the vehicle itself for propulsion. This design is simpler, but produces less thrust, mainly used in medium and low-speed urban rail transit. It offers smoother and quieter operation than traditional subways or light rail. For high-speed maglev, engineers must also overcome key challenges in power supply, communication, and more to build China's fastest maglev lines. But even so, it's still not the ultimate flying machine on the ground. Once the train exceeds 400 km per hour, air resistance becomes the main obstacle, accounting for over 80% of total resistance. While optimizing the nose shape can reduce aerodynamic drag, it doesn't fundamentally solve the problem. So, a bolder idea emerged. Make the air disappear. This is the vacuum tube transport system, also known as the super high-speed rail. In a near-vacuum environment, maglev trains can exceed 1,000 km per hour, even faster than current commercial jets. This is true ground flight. But conventional maglev technology faces a fatal problem. Electromagnets generate a lot of heat at high speeds. Coils have resistance, so they heat up when energized, wasting energy and threatening system safety, as well as weakening magnetic strength. The solution is superconductors. When cooled below a certain temperature, superconducting materials resistance drops to zero. 
Once a current is introduced into a superconducting coil, it can flow indefinitely, making a supermagnet. In 2015, Japan's low-temperature superconducting maglev train set a record of 603 km per hour at negative 269 degrees Celsius. In 2021, Southwest Jiaotong University in China developed the world's first high-temperature superconducting maglev prototype, designed for 620 km per hour and working at 620 degrees Celsius, minus 196 degrees Celsius. Although extra cooling is still needed, and it's in the engineering verification stage, the technology shows huge potential. Maglev technology is not limited to transportation. It's showing amazing innovation across various industries. Aerospace. With the explosive power of maglev trains, it can serve as an electromagnetic catapult on aircraft carriers, or when miniaturized for satellites, as a magnetic suspension control moment gyroscope to stabilize spacecraft. Medical health. Maglev technology can be used in artificial hearts to reduce mechanical friction and extend lifespan. Intelligent manufacturing. Maglev bearings can be used in high-precision machine tools for nano-level machining accuracy. But most surprisingly, this technology has already reached our everyday cars. BYD engineers stood up the principle of maglev trains and compressed it into a space the size of a human leg developing the world's first mass-produced electromagnetic suspension system, Yunnian Z. Traditional car suspensions rely on hydraulic damping and are limited by friction, making it impossible to precisely and quickly adjust suspension height. The Yunnian Z system uses vehicle sensors to detect road conditions in advance. Under the command of a central computer, it actively adjusts magnetic force, changing suspension height in just 0.005 seconds to counteract vibrations. This adjustment speed is 20 times faster than traditional cars, and millimeter-level precision allows the car to stabilize its posture quickly on all kinds of roads, delivering unprecedented smoothness. However, achieving this technological breakthrough was not easy. To balance the high thrust and small size of the suspension motor, engineers sifted through 300,000 design combinations to find the optimal electromagnetic component layout while also dealing with severe vibrations and extreme temperature and humidity. An ultimate challenge in automotive ultra-precision manufacturing, China's maglev technology has developed over more than 40 years, from early international collaborations to today's fully independent R&D, a journey full of hardship and breakthroughs. In 2003, the Shanghai maglev demonstration line was completed, becoming the world's first commercial high-speed maglev line with a top operating speed of 430 km per hour. In July 2021, China's independently developed 600 km per hour high-speed maglev transportation system rolled off the production line, marking China as one of the few countries mastering complete high-speed maglev technology. That same year, Southwest Jiaotong University's world-first high-temperature superconducting high-speed maglev prototype was unveiled showcasing China's innovation in cutting-edge maglev technologies. In 2022, BYD launched the world's first mass-produced electromagnetic suspension system, Yunnian Z, successfully applying maglev technology to passenger cars and achieving cross-industry innovation. Looking ahead, as superconducting materials, vacuum technology, and artificial intelligence advance, maglev technology will bring us more surprises. Vacuum tube super high speed rail may enable one hour transport circles between cities. Electromagnetic suspension technology will spread to more car brands and models. Maglev technology will combine with renewable energy to create more efficient energy storage systems. Miniature maglev systems may be used in wearable devices and home appliances, from high speed trains to cars, from hundreds of kilometers per hour trains to millimeter precision suspension systems. Maglev technology is changing the way we travel and improving our quality of life. This is not just a revolution in speed, it's a comprehensive upgrade in comfort, safety, and energy efficiency. Generations of Chinese engineers have devoted their lives to turning what once existed only on blueprints into reality, bringing science fiction into the real world. On the road ahead, every bump will eventually be smoothed away. Which application of maglev technology interests you the most? 
Is it ultra-high-speed transport, automotive suspension systems, or other innovative uses? How do you think maglev technology will change our future lives? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe to the Volt China channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our next episode on China's breakthrough progress in solid-state batteries. Stay tuned.